Um, of course, our window treatment is one of the biggest things that we do here, but we get a lot of requests for pillows and cushions. It's probably in our next biggest group of um, custom fabrication requests that we get, just because a lot of times cushions, they don't, the ready-mades don't quite fit into their window seats or chairs or things like that. So we get a lot of custom requests for them. And so we can make something like this that's fit exactly to the chair. Sometimes if you have a cutout here, sometimes a cutout here, or there's a curve, we'll make it exactly to the shape of that chair. And so this is like knife edge, and like we'll, we'll have lots of samples in the workroom. So if a designer or a customer comes in, we can show them visually what it will do, what the size looks like. Because like even on window seat cushions, People, you know, I'll ask them, like, do, do they want two inch and three inch? And they're going like, well, I don't know. And I'll take out these cushions and visually show them, this is a two inch, this is a three inch, you know, which one looks better or what height is better. And they can visually see what, might be, what it might look like in their room. And so we do a lot of window seat cushions. They could be bay window cushions or whatever, but, um, you know, we custom measure them. One of the things that we got a request here, these are some pillows that we recently made. That's kind of different. Um, this actually is a window seat cushion. It, instead of the foam being here in a box, this is a knife edge feather cushion. And it's kind of high and lofty. And it's all feather in here, which is unusual um, because the customer wanted it very kind of lumpy um, and kind of high because it was it's one of those really a big wall, so it needed something substantial. One of the things that we do for the feather is that we actually make another casing inside. And this is what we call ticking. And it's another, um, it's a special type of lining so mm -hmm. that all the feather we put in there do not poke through. So whenever we get feather requests, we put this special lining in there so that when you're sitting on there, you don't have, you know, because sometimes you see those mm -hmm. seat cushions that have feathers poking through. Well, this will never do that because we've actually put the special lining in here. And then we actually blow the feather in there. And this is a really, really messy job. In fact, Colin was out there outside blowing all the feather in. He had feathers all over his hair. But anyway, once we get it all in, we sometimes we channel them just depending on what it is. But we get all, this is all 100% feather. And we custom made the insert to make sure that the width was exactly 78 inches as the customer requested and 19 inches deep as the customer requested. So the measurement has to be exactly the same. And the and if, let's say the customer walks in or designer walks in and says, you know what, this is too lofty, it's too big. Um, then I can easily just open this up, take this apart and take some feathers out and then see how far they want it. So. You know, we're going to do whatever it takes to satisfy the customer because we may think this is looking good, but then she might walk in or he might walk in and say, oh, no, this is too flat. Oh, no, this is too too big. And, you know, we'll just fix it as soon as possible. Anytime when we get a request to redo something just because it doesn't look quite right the way they envisioned it and the way we do it, we, that, that goes on the top of the list. We make sure that gets fixed right away, and that's the highest priority. So, in fact, we might even fix it right then when they're waiting, just because, you know, they made the trip out here to get it. And if it's not quite exactly what they want, we're going to redo it and, and so they can be off.